Well, the next person we're going to have come up uh, and, and, and share with us today is, is, is Marsha, Marsha Luring. And uh, she's been in, a part of the church, man, pretty much since the beginning, I'd say, but uh, close. And um, Marsha does so many things that people don't really know about. You know, I, I know you know this, that, you know, a couple times a year she hosts these big parties out at her their ranch, you know, the fall harvest, one of the biggest events we have every year, and ice cream social, which is probably my favorite event, and, and um, for many reasons. But uh, a lot of, again, what she does, the normal person coming would probably never see. I just want her to come on up. Come on up, Martian. <laughs> Well, it's so good to have you here today, and thanks for, for being willing to share. Um, you know, I, again, I said you've been here since the beginning, and it's been close, but uh, uh, I know that in the way back, you know, you, you started doing some of these events. How did you get started doing the events that you do? Well, um, first of all, I was invited to this church about 13 years ago by Nancy Widener, and she has since moved on, but I'm... You know, we're still here. Myself, I moved and my on. Family. She moved out of state. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a wedding at our house one time, and Pastor Paul was sitting on the front porch. And during that time, um, we had uh, someone at the church that was filling the shoes of. They were filling the spot of the fall festival, and um, and they weren't going to do it anymore. So I mentioned to him that um, our place was available if he wanted to. Um, he, you took that up right away. <laughs> and um, we've had it there ever since. Um, and then it grew to the ice cream social. Um, we've had some other things out there. We've had Victorian luncheons and so forth uh, for the ladies. Um, you know, we've had, we've had different things. And yeah. Different things, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Uh, what's your heart? You know, when it comes to an event like that, you know, it's, it's outside of the four walls of the church on a Sunday and all that. What's your heart, though, for, you know, things to happen at, at an event? Um, myself and my family, I think I can speak for my family as well. As, you know, um, we, when we pray together, we always, we always pray that um, when people come onto our property that they will feel a peace um, and a happiness about being there, and a joy, you know, that exudes from every, you know, every wall, every piece of furniture, everything that we have there. And I really believe that that, that has, um, you know, been the case. We have, um, there's a lot of joy in, in what I do. There's a lot of joy in the, um, in the activities and the ministry that we have found. Um, but a lot of people don't see the, the beforehand or the behind the scenes things. You know, lots of stuff goes wrong, but we just kind of smile and <laughs> that's the way it was supposed to be. Um, that's but it. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a challenge. Um, uh, and everybody plays a part in our heart is that, you know, that more and more people come and that, that people will invite other people, even from the community, even from other churches. Um, because we just, we really feel like it should be um, a oneness, not just an individual church, but a, a oneness of all Christians. Um, so this is an opportunity when people can really do that. They can really invite their friends, their family um, that don't know the Lord, um, or they can invite other people from other churches or whatever, just, you know, to be really open. Amen. I get it. I'm just going to say this. Marsha and I, this is a little known fact, but we actually go back to like grade school because we both grew up in Minneapolis and we, we found this out like probably years after you came to this church. But we actually both attended the same church when we were, you know, like I say, grade school probably, you know. She's got these pictures she pulls out every now and then, you know, of those that had perfect attendance, which I was never in. But, uh, Anyway, so there's this nostalgic wish here. <laughs> um, well, I, we just appreciate, you know, and, and I, I could go on and talk about people that their first time coming to Liberty was through one of these events, yeah. you know, and people that came and actually plugged in and had their lives changed. Right. And so I never underestimate, you know, what God does and, you know, on the, the Luring Ranch. 
because uh, praise the Lord, we've had, we've had miracles out there. Right. And we've had our number of weddings happen, which are miracles too. Right. And uh, so it's been a great time. And we appreciate you sharing today. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Marsha. Thank you.